Hello everyone, this is Scott Stengel from the Melco Applications team. I'm here today to give you a quick tip on how to uh, combine logos for hats into one design. So if you have an order that's got a, a front logo and a side, or both sides, of course very inefficient to run it separately. Um, better is to put them all together in the right locations in one design. Hit start and when it's done all, the whole hat is finished. So let me show you how I do this. First thing I like to do is get all two or three designs, whatever I'm going to use on the hat, all up on the screen in one file. So I'm going to do open and I'm going to select the front. This is a recent uh, Cali Puff hat design that we did at Long Beach. And then I'm going to use Insert Design, and I'm going to insert one of the side logos. I'll hold Alt and get this out of the way for now. And then I'm going to use Insert again to do the other side. Hold Alt and I'll drag this out of the way. Then, for the time being, I'm going to get all these just out of my way. What I find works best is to use a series of vector boxes um, to show me exactly where the panel seams are, etc. So, I measured the hat that we're going to do, and it is 7.5 inches from seam to seam on the front, and the sides are 3.5 inches from seam to seam. So, I will grab the Vector Line tool. If you don't have the Vector Line option, you can use the Walk Stitch. Just, of course, make sure you delete them before you sew the hat. So, I'll select Vector Line, and then Custom Shapes Rectangle is active. So, I'll grab that. And uh, it might help if you want to change uh, the color of the box from blue to something. You might thicken up the lines, especially in the video, to make it easier to see. And then I'm going to just draw a rectangle. Now I will select it. And then I'm going to go down and size it. So I'm going to uh, deselect the aspect ratio. We said that the front width was seven and a half inches and the side three inches is fine because that's much taller than the hat's going to support. All right then I'm going to center this and that defines the front area from seam to seam. I'm going to take this vector box and I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate it and I'm going to size this properly. So we said that the side panels were three and a half inches. I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to drag this till the two seams line up. Then I'm going to zoom in on it and what I like to do is draw a crisscross line so I will grab the vector line tool and I will draw a line from corner to corner, enter, corner to corner, the other direction, enter, and then I like to draw a vertical right down the center that shows me left to right the origin. All right, it can zoom back, and now I will select the side, all the parts, Control D to duplicate this, hold Alt, and that will constrain the movement, and I'll line this up on the other side. So now I have the front panel and both sides. I'll select the front design. I'll move it straight down. I'm going to use Alt. And then I'm going to grab one of the side logos. And I'm going to line this up exactly in the center of this box. Grab the other side logo and line this up. Okay, <clears throat> now we've got everything set in the positions that we want them. Generally, uh, of course, on hats, this wouldn't be in the center. We're gonna, what helps is to move this down a little bit so you center the hoop on the machine, load the design, and it's already in the proper location as far as uh, the up 
and down the uh, Y direction. All right, so I can grab the front, hold Alt, pull this down, whatever distance I'm looking for to the bill of the hat. Then when it comes to the side designs, this is white 3D might help. I will grab uh, the design now because of the sweat band on the side you, you don't want to pull this down as low as it is on the front but um, it should come down from center this is sort of preference and whatever but yeah something about like that usually works pretty well and then the same for the other side logo hold alt bring it down you notice that I'm using the uh, full screen crit crosshair, which is really nice because I can adjust and see how one logo on one side affects the other. These are different proportion logos, so usually the Melco is going to go uh, up a little bit higher because it's not as big of a design as uh, the Design Shop logo. Okay, so now I've got everything positioned exactly how I want it. A note here is this design is not centered right and so this is one very rare case when you do not want to center um, the design because what I do is I'll put it um, the hat onto the driver in the machine I'll line up left to right so that the active needle is right over the seam of the hat and um, then it's gonna sew this perfectly centered and these will be proportionally correct all right, so once I have this all set up, um, I might need to micro adjust the sides a little bit. And the, the reason for that is um, when you put the clips on, it depends how hard you pull the side to get the panel tight and um, you know stretched out. You're moving actually the side panel a little bit from just being in a relaxed state of what you measured. So you can sew a hat and then tweak, move something over a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, left to right um, until you get it all set. But after you get it set, you could run 200 hats and they'd all come out perfect. Also, when you hoop the hat, you need to make sure that the side um, is, is horizontal. And that takes just a touch of practice, but you'll get it. Um, to make sure that the logo isn't crooked on the sides, but you can get that. Um, the other thing I do is I'll cut uh, a piece of back hat backing to about 19 inches. Um, if you have very intensive logos on the sides, you might want to go with two layers um, of uh, hat backing to keep everything stable and reinforced. All right, um, you can also choose to flip all this upside down and store it that way so you don't have to flip it when you load it on the machine. That's all kind of personal preference. Um, <clears throat> another uh, key that helps when you do uh, hats with multiple locations as one design is to use the settings by color feature. Um, the reason for that is the front of the hat has usually buckram behind it, so it's going to be thicker. So you might run, say, with a minimum of uh, 12 or 15 um, Actifeed minimum on the front of the hat, but then it doesn't have the buckram, uh, you know, and all the bulk on the sides. So it, it, you might get a false thread break or two if you try and run the sides at 12. So very easy to set up uh, settings by color, which is under Tools, Melco OS settings. And there's going to be a link that will show you uh, a video we've al already done on how to um, set that up. So then I'm going to <clears throat> take and save this out, and I'm ready to go. Um, another tip is, you know, I can save these, this vector portion um, copy it into a new uh, window and save it as my hat master setup for multiple locations or whatever you want to call it so I don't have to go through the process of uh, drawing the vector boxes each time. You do find that hats have different widths on the panels and so to set this up for a certain style of hat will work fine. If you change the hat style drastically you need to go measure and readjust the proportions of how this all works. 
So I hope you can see how easy it is to create one design that does all the hits on the hat at one time and makes production very efficient. Thank you for watching.